whilst I'm in the McDonald's drive-thru, I might as well just drop some quick gems, blood. In the ideal perfect world, someone will come knocking at your door and say, okay, this is what we're gonna do to fix your life. This is what we're gonna do to improve your life. This is what we're gonna do to help you build that wealth. Yeah, Not just get rich, this is what we're gonna do to make you wealthy. Unfortunately, Man forget out of La La Land, yeah? That, that, that's not the real world. No one, if you're a man, no one is going to knock on your door and say, okay, this is what we're gonna do to fix your life. It's down to you to fix your life yourself, blood. And this is the reason why a lot of people who uh, follow religion deeply or believe in government and politics, this is the reason why a lot of the people of them are poor and will forever stay poor because they're believing and they're hoping that some higher power whether it's a government or God or whoever in it, some politician is gonna come and put things in place for their life to be better. Blood, the only person that's gonna make your life better is yourself, blood. So I'm gonna make these reaction videos about the cost of living. Some people might think, ah, man's just making these videos to take the piss out of people. No, fam. Like my girl calls me, I'm a narcissist, blood. I don't need to put other people down to boost up my self-esteem, blood. Man have high self-esteem just because. You see me, let me just break down one thing as well. There's certain man, they need to make money to feel like they're the shit or feel good about themselves or whatever. Don't get it twisted. When man's getting more money in and that and I'm becoming more successful, obviously that makes me feel good. But even if I had nothing, I would still feel like the man. When I was broke and I was 18, man felt like the man, blood. You what? That's a kill though. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I've already given my order. Yeah, someone else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously, man have to keep the window down, innit? Yeah, because... I ain't got no aircon in this car, innit? But obviously, so I have to keep the window up because I ain't got no, uh, I ain't got no aircon in this car, yeah? So obviously, if I keep the window down, that allows me to get some fresh air at that. But if I keep the window down, obviously I can hear like, obviously the interference from the surrounding area and that, innit? Yeah, a man's sweating right now, innit? But, um, and I can't even open up the other window because the window's jammed. Like man's trying to push the window down right now and it's not even working in it. And yeah, I can even say as a man, no one is gonna come and buy me a new car. It's down to me to raise the funds to buy a new car. Now I already got the funds to buy a new car. It's just, I'm a cheap ass, innit? But um, yeah, the people them, the reason why I make those videos about cost of living and that is not to take the piss out of people, it's to show you. If you do not put in the effort whilst you're young and you got energy and you're fit and you're healthy, if you got a good functioning brain and healthy body and that, there's no excuse to be poor. If you don't put in the work as a youth man, as a young person, when I say a youth man, young person, 35 under, 40 under, if you don't put in the work, blood, you are going to be these 60 year old pensioners who have the conundrum, a conundrum. do I heat or do I eat? Do I sit in a warm house but have an empty belly? Or do I sit in a freezing cold house but have a warm, um, um, a filled up stomach and that? You, you don't want that to be your biggest problem. You don't want that to be your problem. Your biggest problem in life when you're 60, 65 years old, when you've retired and that is, should I go on that three week cruise for six grand or should I go to Jamaica for eight weeks and spend four grand? You know what I'm trying to say? That should be your biggest problem, blood. Not. Oh, uh, do I eat food or do I sit in a warm house? Madness, blood. As a man, the only person that's going to fix your life is you, blood. Stop relying on the government. Stop relying on God. I'm not saying don't believe in God. You can believe in what you want, innit? Yeah, but what I'm saying is don't believe in, don't rely on God to fix your problems, blood. Tell yourself, God wants me to fix my problems myself, blood. You just sit in there. That's why a lot of people love to go to church. That's why they subscribe to the Holy Bible or the Quran and that. Because they feel like if they believe in it enough, then obviously, yeah, God will come and fix their problems and that. You have to fix your problems yourself, blood. You literally have to fix your problems yourself. I am burning up in this car, fam. Madness, blood. But yeah, don't matter who's in government. Throughout my life, I've seen Tony Blair, Gordon Brown, Boris Johnson, Theresa May, all these other MPs and that. And throughout my life, I've had high points and low points. In the same time, a certain man being in power. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who's in power. It's down to you to fix your problems, blood. A lot of black people, when Obama was becoming president, oh, we've got a black president. Imagine. Black people in the UK was talking about, we've got a black president. Fam, you live in the UK, fam. What do you mean you've got a black president, blood? You've never been to America. Okay, you've been to America twice. Who gives a shit? 
You have no connection, no ties to America. You have no obligation. You are not allowed to reside in... Uh... Also, Clark, camera, cut out on, man. Sometimes when it gets hot in the car, so when the temperature's too much, the phone detects, and for some reason it just shuts down all the apps. I don't know, maybe someone put down in the comment section below if it happens with Apple iPhones and that, but with I've got a Samsung S9. If the temperature is too high, it just shuts down all the apps on the phone, innit? which includes the camera, because cameras are app, innit? But anyway, the only person that's going to motivate you, the only person that's truly going to fix your life is yourself, bro. You've got to be your own self-motivator, my brother. When my sister watching this, it's mainly the man that's watching this, girls can kind of slightly get away with not making something with themselves. So yeah, man them, we're on a different path, innit? Yeah, men and women, we are completely different. Similar in some aspects, but very different for majority of aspects in that. you got to be your own self-motivator. you got to be your own self-coach. you got to be able to really coach, mentor and motivate yourself. You know, you can't come from external sources. In Taekwondo, so that's Taekwondo fire, in it? Well, I ain't been for a few years in that, but I ain't retired my black belt. And I was talking about this in the video the other day. Big up man like Master John, that was my Taekwondo instructor, in it? And obviously, a bit like boxing, get me one fighter on one side, other fighter on the other side, Perth, each fighter has got their own coach. When you're in the ring and you're sparring and you're fighting and you're in the middle of a bout, you don't hear <laughs> what your coach says. Furthermore, what your coach says to you, I mean, sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, what, what he says to you before the fight and even like during, like when you get your little break and that, you might take it in, innit? But as soon as you get me the bell goes and you, you get back into it, you get it cracking and that, you just forget everything you was told, didn't it? During the fight, you've got to be your own self coach. You've got to be your own motivator, blood. That's what man's learned from Taekwondo, blood. you got to be your own motivator. You can't rely on someone else to motivate yourself. I spoke about this in a video the other day. So obviously, as you don't know, man's on Patreon now, innit? So Patreon, you get paid. Yeah, people then sub to the Patreon and they pay you. You can set it to $100 a month. Mine's just five. Now, with the Patreon money and that, you don't get the Patreon money sent straight to a bank account. Patreon goes to PayPal and then PayPal pays you, yeah? You withdraw from PayPal. It don't go straight from Patreon to your bank account. It has to go through PayPal for some reason. A bit like eBay. eBay don't just pay you directly. It has to go to PayPal then to you. So the PayPal account that's linked to the Patreon account goes to just my personal account. So with my bank accounts and that, man's got a business bank account. I've got my personal bank account. I've got one bank account for my first rental property. All the direct debits, all payments going in and out is dealt with that account. And then I've got a second property and a second bank account that's linked to that. Again, all direct debits, all rent that goes in, all money that goes out, that's all linked to that bank account. So I said to myself, one way and one thing that's going to be able to motivate me is Imagine if my Patreon money goes straight into my, um, I've got my front door open. <laughs> Imagine my Patreon money goes straight into my personal bank account. There's hundreds of transactions. Four or five pounds, that's not going to see four or five pounds. So I said to myself, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to set up a separate bank account and it's solely Patreon money that's going in. No money's coming out unless I decide to withdraw. So all the money from Patreon goes in there. At the moment, I've got £4.10 in that bank account. Now, some people might think, ah, oh, blood, seeing £4.10 might demotivate man. No, that's going to motivate me because I'll look at that £4.10. Respect to the man them that's, you get me, sub to the, the Patreon. The bigger man like Shane, innit? That £4.10 is a measly amount of money at the moment, yeah? But I'm going to look at that and think, the only way I'm going to be able to increase that money is by hard work, is by putting in work, is by producing content, blood. My channel, my Patreon channel, my YouTube channel is not going to suffer if I produce more and more content. So I can only be at an advantage. I can only be at an advantage by producing more and more content. In your life, my brother, if your life is going bad, if your life is going wrong, if things are not happening the way you want them to happen and that, my mortgage broker is literally calling me right now. I thought the phone was going to cut out again. I'm going to end the video and say, if, if your life is in a rut, if you're in a bad shape, if you're in a bad way, the only answer is to work hard. Your life can never be any worse by working harder. It can only get better.
If anything, worst case scenario, your, your life will be the same. But your life can never get worse by working harder. It can only get, get better by working harder. So man's gonna use that to blood, you gotta play mind games with yourself, my brother. You yeah, you, I play mind games with myself on my YouTube channel. I tell myself, blood, these lot they think you're an idiot, they think they you, you don't know what you're talking about. They don't they don't think you're J wise, blood. See, look, you only got 924 subscribers, blood, you gotta bully yourself, but bully yourself in the right way. Bullies are looked at as seen as being evil and that, but sometimes bullies are good, you know, they bring out that animal in you, yeah. They bring out the beast in you. They cause you to want to get better. Yeah, they cause you to want to improve your life. The girl that dumped you, the girl that broke your heart and that blood, she put you on the right path, blood. She put you on the path of bettering yourself, the path of self, self improvement. I guarantee you, yeah, none of them, most of the men that are watching self improvement videos and that is because they got dumped by some girl and they're struggling. All right, they might have got dumped by some girl. If they didn't, then they probably are struggling for girl. They're both the same thing. It's good, fam. It's good motivation, bro. They put you on the right path. They put you on the path of, you know what, let me improve my life, innit? So you got to bully yourself. you got to know how to self-motivate yourself in a positive way. Yeah, in a positive way. So, yeah, if you're lacking motivation, just say to yourself, the whole world thinks less of me. The whole the whole world thinks I ain't worthy. I'm not the, I'm not the shit and that. And tell yourself, I'm going to prove them wrong, fam. you got a point to prove. Not to everyone else, but you got a point to prove to yourself, blood. Yeah, that's what you got to think, fam. Fuck everyone else, bro. But just use that as motivation, bro. I'm going to use my channel, the Patreon bank account that's only got £4.10 in it. I'm going to use that as motivation, bro. Yeah, to say, okay, boom. Man, need to make more and more videos to build up this thing, bro. Man, then watching this right now. Don't think for a minute, oh, you know, I don't like the idea of having to build up something. That's not the way I am, bro. That is the way you are, fam. As a youth man, as a child, as a pitney, as a teenager, blood, you used to play Pokemon, you used to play Grand Theft Auto, you used to play Call of Duty, all of them games, yeah, all it's about is building up your character, becoming the best character you can. CJ from San Andreas, yeah, Tommy Vercetti from Vice City, the whole game is built upon making the most money, getting the most status, becoming the biggest and strongest, baddest man in the ends, blood. Yeah. As as a, as a man on road, if you was a if you was a youth man on road that was trying to build up a reputation, and that it's about building up a reputation, building something up from scratch. You wanted to be known as the baddest man on the ends, blood. Or at least, man, no, yeah, he he he's a serious man. Man can't fuck with him, innit? Anyway, man, I want to go on um phone back my mortgage broker, innit? Can't want to see what he's got to say, innit? But that's it for today, man. Stay worse, done, man. Stay motivated.